What's going on everybody? Welcome back to OutH Studio. Today we're gonna take a look at how to get US contours for free and this is probably the most precise way to do it as well. Let's get straight into it. All right, first step is make sure you're clicking in the link in the description to go to this USGS download. Um, and what we're gonna want to do is go into Elevation Products. Uh, go ahead and uncheck everything. We're really only interested in the one meter DEM, so have that checked. Uh, and then before we actually click search product here, zoom in to wherever you want the data to be. So for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to try to find a contour line of uh, University of California in Berkeley, which is right around here. So making sure that I have this in my viewport by zooming into it, now I'm able to click search product. So the search product will basically um, search wherever you have the viewport to be. Um, so here you can see that when I mouse over these guys, it'll show me which square or which block the data is. And you can see I really just need uh, this one on the bottom. The top one is more Oakland and that area. So zoom in in here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add this to carts. So right there, that is adding us to the carts. And then going here, it's really similar to shopping. Um, you're going to go ahead and just click the download here. So all you have to do is click that. It'll start downloading and I'll see you guys in a bit. So while that is downloading, it is a good idea to actually download uh, QGIS. Now QGIS is what we're going to use to basically extract the contours from the GeoTIFF we just downloaded. Now go ahead and download this one and this one, follow the instructions and install um, the, the the QGIS application. So after QGIS is installed, sometimes it's a little bit hard to find, but usually it'll be under your C drive, under program files, uh, and wherever your QGIS, if you find it in your program file, it might be in there, it might be in program file and 30, X32, um, but you can go into QGIS, go into the bin folder, um, and then you can go ahead and click on the QGIS bin and it'll start opening QGIS for us. And when you open the program, this is kind of what you're greeted with. Um, we're gonna go ahead and ignore all this. Make sure you go into your downloads or wherever you have the USGS download that we just did. Um, and you can just drag and drop that into the layers in the bottom here. Now you can see this comes into the, Arc uh, sorry, not QGIS, QGIS as a TIFF. So it's a range of uh, basically gray bands. and what we want to do is go into the raster processing, go into extraction and hit contours. So what we want to do is basically this one is the important one interval between contour lines. If you want that to be one meter, um, and this is in meters, if you want that to be one meter, you just type in one and that'll extract the contours in one meter. If you want something a little bit more precise, uh, you want to do 0 0.305 and that's basically one feet. Um, and you can leave everything else kind of as is. I like to change where the output is. So right here, it says save temporary file. I like to just know where this file is. So here I'm just gonna do contour one feet. And I'm gonna save it onto the desktop just for demonstration's sake. Now we're gonna run this command. It'll take about three or four minutes depending on how fast your computer is. And I'll see you guys when it gets back processing. All right, so when it does finish, you can see that it'll say algorithm contour has finished. It'll tell you how long it is. Mine took around three minutes. Um, go ahead and close that. You can already see that there's a very dense amount of contours on my screen. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch off the background. Zoom in, you can see that each one of these is its own contour. Now, I'm not really sure where UCB actually is. I'm guessing somewhere down here, but um, in order to kind of get a base map going, I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down on the top here, go to XYZ tiles and just double click open street map. Uh, and we're good with the projection here. So I'm just gonna click okay. Uh, make sure you're moving this to the bottom. Uh, the layers do actually matter here. And here you'll see that the school is actually right here. Now, obviously I don't wanna export this entire area out as it'll crash whatever program I'm sending it into. So I'm going to create a geometry that's going to clip right here and only export that. And to do that, we need to create a new shape file layer right here. And I'm just going to make this um, clip. So the geometry type, we're going to do polygon and just hit OK there. Again, we're good with the projection. Just hit OK. So we're going to go into edit mode here. 
and create a new polygon and just mark out where we want the boundary to be. So just kind of want, I want the stadium in there as well. And maybe, maybe something like that. And just right click to basically finish it up. And there is our polygon. Now go ahead and save your edits and we're good to go on that. So, um, oh, sorry. And then what we're gonna do is use the RAS, sorry, vector. And then we're gonna go to geo processing tools, go to clip. And for the input layers, we want to put our um, contour one feet. And for the overlay layer, we wanna put the clip. So input is what you want to clip. And then overlay is what you're clipping from. Sorry, what you're clipping with. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and run this. This should be fairly fast. Um, yeah, so it should only take not too long. There we go, algorithm clip has finished. Go ahead and close that and that. And if we switch everything off, you can see that I actually do have a, a layer that is clipped just to the extent that I've denoted. And it, can it basically has all the contours in there that I need. If I switch off open street map, you can see that these guys are in here. Now, if you wanna go about labeling these guys, you can always go in here and uh, label to your heart's extent. Uh, but for this demonstration, we're not gonna do that. Um, in order to basically export this, which is the next step, uh, all we have to do is go up to project, uh, go into export, and then export to a DXF. And just make sure that you guys have the correct layer selected here. So you can see that this is the clipped contours. Make sure having that is selected. Uh, and then we can save this again as clipped contours, clipped contours. Um, and yeah, just I'm just saving it to a place that I know uh, will basically shelter it. And we're just gonna hit okay. It's gonna make that into a DXF. On the top here, you can see that DXF export completed. You can also put this in a PDF if you want. Um, I just like DXF because it works in so many different programs. And yeah. Now to demonstrate what this looks like in a 3D program, I'm gonna go ahead and just open this with Rhino. Uh, and you'll see that this file, this DXF file should open in Rhino. All the lines are editable. Um, yeah, make sure the model units are, are meters because that's what we were working with. And click OK. And here we go, we have all the lines that we need in Rhino and each one of these is editable. So there you have it. If you guys have any questions, make sure you leave it down in the description. Uh, and if there's anything that anybody wants to see or needs help with, also leave that in the description. I will try to get to as many as possible, but if this helped you at all, please leave a like and subscribe and I will see everybody in the next one. Bye-bye.